Hey, what is up boys? This is Forever Alone Yu-Gi-Oh! Back again with another deck profile. This time it is a farming deck. For you guys who want to farm a Gravekeeper's Recruiter, you know, uh, farming that Odeon level 40 right there. <laughs> um, it is a Dinosaur Beatdown deck. Uh, I realized that you can also use Cerberus deck in, uh, to farm Odeon, but based on my personal experience, Cerberus deck isn't that reliable to farm. Um, I've already used so far 2000 Black Keys uh, to farm Gravekeeper's Recruiter. I played at least 16 matches with Cerberus deck and I lost 5 times out of 16. Um, so I got kind of frustrated with Cerberus deck when I lost the 5th times because it's just a waste of keys. I figured might as well make another deck just specifically to farm Odeon. The problem with Cerberus deck is that Oftentimes, Odeon can OTK you really easily uh, because he does play triple embodiment of Apophis. So a lot of times, if you go second and he have one back row set, it is of high probability that that one back row will probably be an embodiment. And if it is, then you will get OTK if you go second and he goes first. All of my losses from using Cerberus deck was because of that scenario. So I went second, Odeon have one back row set and another monster set and during his next turn he just summoned three monster and OTK me. So in that sense, uh, Cerberus decks, if you want to use Cerberus deck to farm Odeon, you kind of have to run specific cards that counters those. So for example, you can try to run some trap cards, for example, Golden Apples or Enchanted Javelins. Half Jet is also a pretty good card and also enemy controller. The concept of the deck is basically just a beatdown deck. Basically what you want to do is summon big monster and run over whatever monster Odeon have. The problem here is that Odeon have quite a beefy um, defense monster which is Castle of Dark Illusion. It's a 1930 defense. So a uh, normal dinosaur can't really uh, get over it because dinos only have 1900 tops so that's why we ran several cards to boost that attack first card we have here is Choo Choo Lane The Awakened uh, we do use Choo Choo Lane to get the over 5000 damage dual assessment so you absolutely need to play one Choo Lane next I play one Kaiser Seahorse one Jay and Axe one Element Zorus and one Warrior Dying Griefer the Kaiser Seahorse and Warrior is not essential to the strategy. It's just there because it's a big monster. If you have another two element Zorus, by all means, replace these two and put in your dinosaurs. I didn't play the dinosaurs because I don't have any. I only have one element Zorus. <laughs> so um, yeah, this Gen X Mumi, it's there because it's prismatic. So um, yeah, use your prismatic cards instead of this Gen X Mumi if you have any. Um, next card we play one blue eyes white dragon play the glossy one the one that you get from uh, Kaiba this card is used for the Choo Choo Lane combo so you absolutely need to have one blue eyes at least next we play the two dinosaurs uh, can't play dinosaur deck without the dinos right three crawling dragons number two and three two-headed king rex that's it for the monster lineup next the spells we play one polymerization for the um, fusion bonus assessment points and then one ritual weapon for your chuch lane and then triple banner of courage one emblem of the weakening for your chuch lane and two metal morph for the traps the purpose of metal morph is just another banner basically you kind of run five banners in that sense also for the trap activation bonus so um, yeah if you only play one traps there will be cases where um, the trap is just on the bottom of the deck and uh, it's the last card you draw so you can't really activate it and you're 100 points short so it could be disastrous so you have to absolutely play at least two traps in order to avoid the scenarios and metal morph is good because it's basically just another banner the last card of the deck is actually not metal morph but it's brachio radius it's a fusion from Two-headed King Rex and Crawling Dragon number two. Don't forget to put this card in your extra deck. Some people might forget. Um, you need this for the polymerization. Um, yeah, this is my deck profile uh, for farming Griefkeeper's Recruiter because you want to make that Griefkeeper's deck. I 
hope you enjoy. Uh, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. 